Hi guys, my name is Sophie and I focused on the delay and avoidance of seeking preventative health care. So on the first slide, the introduction, you will see that I basically explain preventative health care includes um, services like any screenings, getting vaccines, and regular checkups. And preventative health care is important because it helps us avoid disease and disability and ultimately death. And therefore, we can catch things early so that worst case scenario, we can start treating before things get worse. Um, on the next slide, you will see the analysis. And while doing my research, I found that COVID-19 was a huge factor in the last five years of why people avoided seeking medical care and specifically preventative care. Um, there was a study done that found that 40.9% of U.S. adults avoided seeking medical care during the pandemic. And this was mainly due to fear of catching COVID-19. Um, but that is a huge number of people that were not seeking preventative services during you know, a two year time span and therefore are now playing catch up over you know, the last couple years. Um, some challenges that are related to this are obviously price. The price of healthcare is super high. It's challenging for those that are uninsured and um, make sense of why people would not be seeking preventative care if they're not insured, they can't afford it and are only seeking the necessary emergent care. Um, but it's also expensive for those that do have insurance and maybe have a chronic illness and have to seek frequent care and basically the bills just build up. Um, another challenge was uh, medical mistrust and that came up a lot and basically just over the years a lot of people have lost trust in the medical system and I think that nurse practitioners can play a big role in creating better relationships and helping put um, the faith back in the medical system. Um, an ethical issue that I found related to this, um, especially during COVID, was telehealth. So during the pandemic, telehealth kind of blew up and is a newer form of delivering preventative care, although I do think it's great and has created a lot more access to health care. Um, I do think that it is newer and definitely needs more guidelines and regulations as far as the best way to carry out the safest care to the patients. Um, FMPs play a huge role in preventative health care because it's one of their primary jobs. Um, every day they are screening, providing vaccines, and educating our patients um, at regular checkups. So COVID definitely affected them with all these patients that are now trying to play catch up, that were not seeking preventative care during the pandemic, and now are most likely in a worse place than they would have been if they sought care early. So there's just an influx of patients and um, really just shows that NPs and um, physicians need to do better education. And it's just important for us to teach our patients why preventative care is important and why they need to be seeking regular um, care in order to catch these diseases um, and disability early. The rural population was definitely a huge population that avoids preventative care, but unlike others, I do think that this is due to barriers and not by choice. Um, the rural citizens have fewer access to hospitals, there's fewer providers in rural communities, and therefore they have more barriers in order to actually seek care. So it's not necessarily on purpose that these people have avoided and delayed seeking the preventative care that they need. On the next slide, um, my plan to address the delay and avoidance of seeking preventative care is increased education. I think all providers need to be doing better teaching and more education on why preventative health care is important and why we need to be encouraging regular checkups and having them schedule their checkups as soon as they leave so that they can ensure that they are seen in a timely manner and their screenings and vaccines are completed. And this is across all age groups, not just you know adults. Um, although I did mention it in the ethical section, I do think that increased telehealth will also help us reach more people and give more preventative care. I do still think that there needs to be more guidelines, but um, especially for rural community, those that don't have transportation, um, maybe that they have busy schedules, telehealth is just a great way for people to see providers um, 
and get education face to face without having to actually go there. So I think if we can increase access, especially for those rural communities and lower socioeconomic status um, citizens, it would make a huge difference. So in conclusion, uh, preventative health care affects all citizens and all age groups. Access plays a huge role in COVID-19 also delayed care and we are now playing catch up. And I think FMPs can play a huge role in educating and helping gain trust in our system again. And my questions for you all are, do you think that telehealth is an effective and ethical way to carry out preventative health care? And do you think COVID-19 will continue to affect primary care providers? Thanks, guys.